Yo, what's going on guys? Today is January 11th. I'm gonna be doing a recap of how I lost $255 uh, on the day trading MES. So basically, um, this was not a good day at all. Um, once again, another trade that you know shouldn't actually have taken place, um, which is definitely a problem, definitely needs to be fixed, and I'll go over that. So uh, let me just mark out where we opened really quick so we can make it very easy to see. So 9.30, sold off a little bit, popped back up, trapped uh, a lot of buyers, and then started this pretty decent sell-off, which I honestly was not really uh, expecting at all, quite frankly. Uh, I was not expecting it at all. So, I mean, quite frankly, I thought that we were gonna, like, when, when I saw this, I thought we were gonna break through this supply zone, and uh, it turned out that we didn't, right? So, uh, my plan initially was I liked longing in this zone of 4805 to 4800. Uh, I didn't like the fact that, you know, I use a five point stop loss and I didn't like the fact that, you know, if I did, let's say long at 4805, that, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to evade this 4800 key level zone. And also I liked 4810 because there was, like three other dips that got bought up there. Um, so I was kind of just looking to long somewhere in here. And, uh, you know, that just didn't really play out. I mean, it did come down, but it's not how I uh, wanted it to. And so let me just show you guys this right here. That is, you know, $255 loss on a live account. Now my account has fourteen uh, five fifty. In there, uh, 14,000, I don't even fucking know. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm tired, I just got, got back from the gym. Uh, so, yeah, so the problem, the problem that happened was I really was not in the mood of missing a good trade, right? So I had to use the bathroom, right, during trading, I mean, I'm sure everyone does, right? Uh, especially, especially if you drink coffee. Um, so I went to the bathroom and before I left, I saw that we were kind of selling off. And then I opened up my Ninja Trader app and I saw that, holy cow, we are shredding through these levels, right? Shredding through 4,800. And I'm like, huh, I wanted to buy, quite frankly, at 4,805 or even buy a 4,800, and the fact that I can now buy below 4,800, that is absolutely solid. So what do I do? Without even being able to actually check the chart, just looking at the DOM on NinjaTrader on the app, I place an order for five MES contracts at, uh, at 4,797.25. Okay, cool, and that's at 10.05. Now, what happens after I get in? Let's see what happens. Literally nothing but selling off. And then I thought that, okay, cool. 47.90 held for a second. Okay, great. Now, now keep in mind before this, where's my stop loss? Can I place a stop loss? No. Ninja Trader sucks on the app. It sucks. It is garbage. You literally cannot even see a chart on Ninja Trader. It's horrendous. I already deleted the app. Um, it's garbage. But uh, yeah, so was, was, did I place a stop loss here? No, my stop loss technically should have been at uh, 92.25. So right here. But it went down so fast. So I got in here. I mean, within literally a minute, minute and a half, it was already hitting my stop loss. And I thought that this was like a blessing to be able to buy here, right? So that was the, fir the first mistake, quite frankly, was not executing just here on my desktop. That's the first mistake, right? Going and executing on my phone. The second mistake is not being able to place a stop loss. 
you should always, like before you get in, you should basically be having your stop loss set. That's the most important part because this is what happens. When you don't have a, when, I mean, I wasn't even able to place a stop loss, first of all. Second of all, at that point when you're already down more than your stop loss, where do you get out now? You have no idea where to get out. I'm just going to tell you guys that right now. If you, if you don't place a stop loss and you let the trade ride, you're automatically way in over your head now. You are going to have a hard time getting out you know, at a decent level because now your mental state is just whacked out. All you can think about is the money. You're not even thinking about you know, it's already sold off X, Y, Z amount of points. It might rebound here. Like that's all out the window, completely gone. And that's what kind of happened to me, right? Like I thought that we were going to rebound from here. Um, and we didn't, we went even further down and I was like, damn, that sucks. And, uh, where did I place my stop? Basically at the bottom. Can you can't even complain? Literally cannot even complain, right? Uh, let me show right here, 87.25. So 10 point stop loss. So basically this is like trading uh, one ES E-mini contract, uh, one ES mini, which, is, which isn't even bad. I mean, I'm trying to get up to one ES mini and at this point I probably should. Um, but yeah, you know, so, so all that, all of this stemmed from just literally not even following the first, just the most basic rule of my trading plan, which is executing here, right? I mean, literally, actually, let me show you guys. Executing here, right? At my desktop. That's the first rule. And I broke that. So anything else that happens after that is totally fair game as far as what happens to you know, my account. And in this case, it was definitely taking a, a nice loss. Um, and then, you know, so stopped out at the bottom and I'm like, okay, what else do I do now? And you can see here, when I started getting in, I kind of anticipated that we were gonna go back up. Cause again, when you take dumb trades and you don't actually know what's going on in the market, when you actually do be able, when you're, when you're actually able to take a look, you're like, oh yeah, right. Volume's exploding. We're literally, we literally sold off like 20 points in eight minutes. You know, maybe could take a step, but all that's out the window because you already messed it up before you could even get to that point. And so then I got in uh, at that little blue marker right there at 47.91.25. Uh, really should not have even taken that, uh, cause this was a complete, you know, FOMO, just want to make a back trade. Um, and obviously you can see the second that it went up, moved my stop to break even, uh, cause I was n not trying to lose anymore. And yeah, it got stopped out and then rallied past my, uh, my entry up there. And, uh, looks like it was more of a sell off day anyways. So First of all, I kind of should have, um, you know, kind of should have switched around my, my thought process on trying to long for the day, right? Because if you see like right here, this is a bear flag. Like, yeah, it might have not looked completely obvious and in hindsight it does, but like, wh why, why would I not switch my bias to possibly even look for a short? The reason why I didn't was because we are, we already sold off, I mean, 20 points from, from here and I was already looking to long. So, you know, I, I wouldn't really want to short at the bottom, but just the fact that I wasn't even able to switch my bias because you should always be able to switch your bias. Anyone that says, you know, go in with, you know, X, Y, Z bias on the day, that is ridiculous because what if, what if you, what if you think it's going to be completely a great day for bulls? And it's the worst sell off. You're, you're going to blow up your account. If you cannot switch your bias and take shorts and then a long, like in my opinion, you're not a good trader at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, and then we kind of popped up, whatever, and then continue that sell off down. And who knows, maybe 
Maybe this is going to be the bottom, maybe a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders or something, go on up here, or, you know, another uh, little leg down to 47.60 or 55 or something like that. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much, pretty much all I got. Um, again, not really good trading at all. I mean, this was barely, this was, this was not a good trade, right? And the one that happened last Friday where I thankfully was able to get out uh, a little bit of profit, kind of the same thing, right? Both, both of these losses, or that wasn't a loss, but it should have been. It was so close. Um, both, both of those trades were, were just completely off the rails from my trading plan. And that's a problem. So what I'm going to do to fix that I already deleted the app. Um, again, I, I don't know why NinjaTrader doesn't have good charts. Uh, an easier way to do orders, if it was like Weeble, where you could easily you know, get in and out, that'd be awesome, but it's not. Um, and again, you should not even really be executing on mobile in the first place. I'll be the first one to tell you that, unless it's like crypto or stocks, or like you're swing trading, day trading, or trying to do anything fast on a phone, Good luck. And that's what happened here. So gonna, you know, I already deleted it, so I don't think I'll have to worry about that. And then uh obviously, you know, placing a stop loss, but I'm 99 percent sure obviously I would have uh in the first place even entering. And I don't even know if I would have actually entered here had I looked at how the market actually looked on the chart, not just the DOM. Um and yeah, you know, that's that's basically uh, all I got, hopefully tomorrow will bring a little bit better, you know, just not even price action. This is actually decent price action and move and uh, volatility, but hopefully just my mental will be better tomorrow and my discipline will also be better tomorrow. So if you guys made it this far, thank you guys for watching. It means that you guys want to learn from a decent trader who messes up sometimes and shares uh the, the results right um, but again guys thank you for watching if you guys could please like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video and ask any questions in the comments i always love to answer you guys' questions um and yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one peace